All right, welcome back into Studio 10. It's Wednesday, and we're kind of starting with a little bit of a wellness watch. It's good to have halfway through the week. And joining us right now is Jonathan, who's a physician assistant. And every month we talk about and focus on important topics that impact many of us. So this time we're talking a little bit about GERD and acid reflux. But uh, let's first start with GERD and kind of talk us through a little bit about what that exactly is. Well, thank you for having me today, Nicole. Yeah, we're excited to have you. And so, you know, GERD is a condition where it's a chronic medical condition where acid and food contents go up through the food tube into the esophagus and mm -hmm. sometimes can get into the mouth and can cause inflammation, mm -hmm. symptoms, irritation. Um, and it's a chronic condition that affects about one in five Americans. Oh, wow, wow. So a it's lot quite more common. Yeah, a lot more common than I would have thought. Yeah. Now, we, we kind of paired it with GERD and uh, acid reflux. What are the differences between the two? Because they're not the same thing, right? No, GERD is the chronic condition that's a repeated offense. So it's like repeatedly happening over and mm -hmm. over and over again. And acid reflux is similar to heartburn. Okay. We can get intermittently. Yeah. You know, like after you eat Thanksgiving dinner or you eat mm -hmm. too much, you get some, you know, burning indigestion, something like that. But if that's not a frequent recurrent problem, then that's not GERD. That's more acid so reflux, heartburn type problem. So we get more work concerned if it's happening frequently, mm -hmm. um, repeatedly, um, if it's more than twice a week, or mm -hmm. if it's causing other symptoms. Right, yeah, and on that note of symptoms, yeah, tell us a little bit about some of the things that we, that might happen, you know, if we do have something like GERD or acid reflexes, what are those symptoms? Sometimes it can be pain. Mm -hmm. you know, some people can have chest pain, um, you can have uh, cough, trouble swallowing, uh, can change your voice, mm -hmm. can have uh, cough, aggravates asthma, a number of things that um, having GERD can do on a daily basis. Yeah, okay. And then, but, you know, once, uh, what does that diagnosis look like and the treatment? So once we kind of figure out that this might be leaning towards GERD, what does that look like? What, what, what do we need know, to need to know there? Well, the first thing you would talk to somebody about it, talk to your healthcare provider and bring it up to them that you've been experiencing this problem more often. Mm -hmm. um, and usually they will start with some dietary modification, lifestyle modifications. Mm -hmm. They may refer you to a gastroenterology office like mm. our office where we could talk to you, obtain your history. Sometimes that in entails an endoscopy, which is a procedure where you get put to sleep with anesthesia. They kind of take a, a black flexible scope tube while you're asleep. It's painless, goes right down your throat oh, into okay. your esophagus, evaluates and see if there's any damage to the esophagus from the acid. Oh, okay. And uh, you kind of hint, up, hint on it as well, the changes to our lifestyle or diet. That, does that have an impact? What are some of the things that we can change there just in case if we wanted to help avoid developing GERD? Well, that in 2023 is the best way to treat GERD mm -hmm. is diet and lifestyle modifications. You know, it comes down to, you know, changing what we eat, how much we eat, and when we eat it. Mm. You know, traditionally, smaller meals, um, eating, avoiding the um, alcohol, caffeine, mm -hmm. coffee, fatty foods, um, late night meals is mm -hmm. also important. So I tell my patients, no eating two to three hours before you go to bed at night. Oh, yeah. Um, that can be helpful. Other things can be weight loss, mm -hmm. can be uh, an issue that can aggravate this condition as well. Gotcha. And this is just scratching the surface on, you know, uh, th this illnesses that you're mentioning. Uh, where can people find more information or, you know, set something up or talk to someone, especially from the Digestive Health Institute, where we, we're so lucky that you guys come on every month. Uh, yeah, they can give our office a call. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know if you have the phone number. Yeah, uh, yeah we, have, uh, we also have the website as well that we can yeah, put up as well, too. Yeah, we're happy too. to evaluate anybody. But mm -hmm. I think, you know, first and foremost, talk to your primary doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to somebody who knows your overall health. Yeah. Have that general conversation. And then if they feel it's warranted, we'll be happy to evaluate you as well. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for, like I said, coming in with all of this knowledge. And I know with one in five, you know, yeah. someone's definitely been probably impacted, of course, uh, from our viewers. So thank you again. Oh, thanks for having me. All right.